Hey guys, I'm Erin. I'm Meredith. And, and we're Uni for you. you. That was awful. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about things we wish we knew before we moved into college our freshman year. Yeah. Um, so for the first point that I thought of, maybe that everyone thinks about college, is that people party, people drink, people smoke, people probably do every drug you think that we can possibly do. Um, it's going to happen. And like, it's okay to try it. Like, don't, don't be like, oh my god, like, no alcohol, no drugs, I'm gonna be a bad person if I try those things. Like, that's not true. But at the same time, like, everybody has this stigma that they're like, people are going to pressure you, people are going to force you to do these things and make you feel bad about yourself, and you're gonna be an outsider if you don't do these things, but that's not true. Because, like, I don't know, my first two months of college, I just didn't want to, and I just kind of, like, stayed in, watched movies, and people are okay with that. Like, you don't have to party all the time, but at the same time, like, if that's what you want, then you can, and it's there. There will be people that will try to pressure you, but for the most part, most people that you'll come in contact with, if they try and force you to do something, you'll just be like, hey, I'm not really about that, and they'll yeah. be like, okay, I respect your decision. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Next we want to talk about roommates. I remember when I was trying to figure out who I was going to room with, I was so stressed out about it. I was like on these Facebook groups for my freshman class trying to find the perfect roommate. And I'm going to be honest, it doesn't really matter. You can go to college with your best friend in the whole world and room with them and it could you could like change over time and it could be a terrible experience or you could go with a total stranger and be best friends. Um, usually the person you are going into your freshman year is not the same person you are coming out. And when you live with a person, things come up. Yeah. So don't stress too much. And if you have any problems with your roommate, RAs are usually pretty helpful. Yeah. Uh, I had a different experience with my RA, but like roommate-wise, I don't know. We both picked our roommate in a very similar way. We, like we did the Facebook thing. We met them for the first time at school. Well, you met yours before, but yeah. either way, I was I was literally in love with my roommate. And like things change, they do. Like you realize that they may not be who you think they were, or just like certain things, just you don't get along as well, and that's okay. And like she said, like RAs can be a good resource. Like mine is not. But that's okay because there are other RAs, like we have an RA upstairs who is amazing and he like helps with so much stuff and there's so many other resources you can use to help you with whatever issues that may come up. And it's it's great to be really close with your roommate and to be great friends with your roommate, but when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you just have to be able to share space with them. Exactly. Person. And as long as you like respect each other and respect the space, then everything should be fine. <laughs> Your sleeping schedule is going to change. So much. So much. You're yeah. around people constantly, so you're gonna like, it's crazy like feeling, what is it, FOMO? Like feeling of missing out? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna yeah. have that all the time. All your friends are gonna be awake and be staying up until two in the morning, you're gonna wanna watch tons of Netflix and everything, which like, honestly, go for it, it's college. At the same time, like, you're gonna be up late and you're not gonna wanna get ADM, so I would not recommend that at all. <laughs> yeah, and also like, you, if you do what I did first semester and have an 8.30 and don't go to it frequently. Like, I was taking sociology, so I was convinced that I was going to be fine. I took sociology in high school, and the first few classes that I went to, I didn't really learn anything new. So I thought that, you know, I, I mean, I'm not going to miss every class, but if I miss a class here and there, it's going to be fine. And it wasn't fine. I didn't do as well as I would like to. I mean, I didn't fail. Yeah. But go to class. <laughs> if you're not a morning person, don't take morning classes. Yeah, straight as that. Don't be afraid to sit with strangers in a dining hall or to eat alone. Yeah, so like in high school, I know everybody was like, oh my gosh, if you're sitting alone, like you're the loser or whatever. Weirdo. I mean, like... Maybe that maybe that's not true in all high schools. Maybe that's just things they make up and show or movies like I don't know, Mean Girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but at the same time, like in college, like you're gonna eat breakfast alone a lot of times because all your friends they just we everyone has different schedules, so you're not gonna be able to have meals with everybody. And it's okay to make new friends and like have meals with people that do have the same classes with you. So if you're like in a class with someone, you can be like, hey, you wanna grab lunch and eat with like strangers and. Um, it's gonna be fine. The other thing is, one day um, I was sitting in the dining hall and this kid I'd never seen before came over 
and he asked if the table next to us had anyone sitting at it because there was like an empty drinking glass there and we were like oh no I mean we're not really sure we haven't seen anyone but you could totally come sit with us and he was like whoa you're so nice like most people don't say that and if you ask to sit with someone they're probably gonna say yes yeah, if there's definitely. room at their table definitely but like most people don't invite you to sit with them yeah um and he was like so grateful and we became friends yeah so but, yeah, yeah. Um, the friends you make at first aren't usually going to stay your friends forever. Yeah. I, I experienced this firsthand and I met a bunch of friends at orientation. I only kept one of them like the first month of college. I actually had a class with one of them so I was like, yeah, this is awesome. We're going to be best friends. Exactly. I ate all my meals with them and then like a month in just drifted apart. Granted, we weren't in the same dorm. A lot of times you will become good friends with the people you live with. So those are who my best friends are right now, who I know for a fact that I probably will be best friends with them for the rest of my four years. Um, anyway. On that, you have to be careful with that though, because yeah. if you get super close with the people on your floor and they're the only people you hang out with, they are going to make other friends, so they're not always going to be around. And so if you're always trying to hang out with the people on your floor, they might be in a different part of campus for a night. They might go out with other friends who live in other parts of town. Yeah. So don't like put all your eggs in one basket. My biggest advice is to make as many friends as you possibly can, mm -hmm. and some of them will stick and some of them won't. Yeah, and there's literally nothing wrong with that, honestly. Like, everyone's like, your college friends are going to be the friends you have for the rest of your life, but so are your high school friends, and it's okay if you have a combination. The bathrooms Blech! are disgusting. <laughs> literally every single weekend there's a girl puking in the stalls. Uh, so that's like the worst of it, but I, like... Fortunately, my, my dorm doesn't have a lot of that. I mean, yeah. someone did throw up on my wall once. Not in my room, okay. but like right outside my door. Yeah. Um, but just in general, people like leaving toothpaste all over the sink. Yeah. And um, not flushing the toilet properly. And hair on the walls and... Band-aids in the shower. Oh, oh, oh we have, we've had some, we had some like... Um, just like paper towels, like wet paper towels oh, over gross. the drain, which so just everything. Gross. It's nasty. Wear your flip flops. Yes, shower shoes is a please. But at the same time, like clean up after yourself. Yeah, and like deal with it. It's just it's college life, and it's the living in a dorm, and but it's all part of the experience. So. Yeah. Explore the areas off campus and around your campus. Mm. Don't just stick to your dorm, the dining hall, the library. Mm. Go outside of that. If there's like a bus system that goes to towns nearby or something like that, get on it one day when you have some extra time and just see where it goes. Um, you'd be surprised. Like there are a lot, in, especially in college towns, mm -hmm. there are a lot of hidden coffee shops and um, kind of indie movie theaters and stuff like that that you can go to and they're really fun when you find them. Yeah, and you and me, we're both very fortunate to have college towns, like, right off campus. A lot, some schools don't, like, they're right in the city, which can be cool, but, like, we're both very fortunate to have college towns, so, like, I don't it's know, just, safe. exactly, and just walking around my college town, like, there's street art, and, like, we have little yeah. movie theaters, and, like, just, like, an Urban Outfitters is there, and just, <laughs> it, exactly, it's really, it's really, really wonderful, yeah. and, like, it'll, if you're sheltered, like we were, then it's great to experience different culture, like, even though it's yeah. in the United States, but, like, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, a lot of the surrounding communities near my college are very kind of hippie, indie stuff. There's yeah. a lot of... Yeah, same. There's a lot of, like, street performers and people hula hooping on the side of the road. Just a lot of really cool stuff and paintings and murals everywhere, mosaics everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's just really cool. So yeah. make sure you take advantage and explore what's around you. Yeah. If you can't focus, go to the library. <laughs> I mean, I I personally don't use the library. Yeah. My my dorm building has like study rooms that you can okay, yeah, lounges, close the door. Lounges, yeah. It has like a whiteboard and everything in it. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Like for me, I don't know. I was pretty against the library for a while. It's just annoying. That like pack all your stuff in a backpack, like leave for hours on it. I don't know. But like it forces you to get your work done. And like in my library, I don't know. They have nice windows. Like you can see all over campus, and like you can just plug your headphones in with all your friends. Like all go together and just get all that work done. And 
I don't know, for me, it's like I was taught to separate my relaxation space and my study space. So for you, your entire living area is going to be your dorm room, which is where you sleep. It's where you hang out with your friends. It's where you do They're all the fun big, stuff. They're not big, let me tell Yeah, you. they aren't, exactly. And because of that, like, you're going to want to separate the stressful things in your life from that room so you when you don't when you go back to it you don't feel all overwhelmed like oh my gosh I have all this work to do so just keep that at school and keep your dorm room separate for me at least that's how it worked yeah um I actually my whole life have always kind of like doing my homework in my bed mm -hmm. so I still kind of do that except I loft in my bed at school so that's a little tricky yeah yeah but um I mean I like it because it's quiet but at the same time sometimes there will be a lot of people around mm -hmm. If my roommate has friends over, sometimes if I have something really important to study for, I'll ask her if they can maybe leave. But most of the time I don't want to do that. There are other places I can go that are going to be quiet. So just kind of find what space is best for you. Yeah. And a lot of people do find the library yeah. is a good F place Find to go. your, little, your little niche and it'll, it'll work out. <laughs> yeah. And on that same note as like the going to the library and studying, you have to do the work. <laughs> Everything that's assigned, even if it feels like busy work, and it might be busy work, but if you do it, you'll do well on the exams for the most part. If you don't do the work, you are in so much trouble. Yeah, especially for like lecture classes if they don't really assign you homework, but they're just like, oh, read this by the exam. You need to do it. Yeah, if they're not checking it, if they say, oh, hey, I put up a review sheet, but like I won't be collecting it, you do it because you need to, trust me. Yeah. Excuse my French, but you really cannot bullshit your way through college. You can yeah. do it in high school, but you can't here. And, like, you're dropping all this money, too, on tuition, so... Yeah. I know in high school I kind of sometimes put in the effort, and sometimes I was like, I don't feel like doing that. And I did fine in high school. In fact, I did fantastic in high school. But you really, you can't do that in college. I, tr yeah. I tried for a little bit, and, <laughs> and then it feels like you're drowning. So don't do that. Yeah, so just keep, keep, be on top of your work, go to class, do not skip even though you want to in that big lecture yeah. hall, just try not to, but, um, and you, you will do well and it'll work out, and trust me. All right, so that's what we have today for our tips and tricks for college freshmen, kinds of things that we wish we had known. Um, really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the little notification bell. Yes, and like the video too. It very, really helps us. If you have any ideas of things that you'd like to see from us, make sure you leave that in the comments below. And that's all for us. Logging, Logging off. off. <gasps> Don't so much fun! <laughs> Hi! Your room looks so pretty. Do you look flat? I do I look flat? Like <laughs> Oh, to our college. Life. Bathrooms are freaking gross. <laughs>